In this video, we will review how to perform an ultrasound guided fascia iliaca nerve block for regional anesthesia. The fascia iliaca nerve block provides anesthesia to the anterior thigh and leg as well as the proximal femur and has the greatest utility in the emergency department for analgesia in the setting of a hip fracture. Anesthetizing the fascia iliaca space can block the sensory function of the femoral, obturator, genitofemoral, and lateral femoral cutaneous nerves. These are the essential elements for performing an ultrasound guided fascia iliaca block. Always obtain consent from your patient before this procedure. Pertinent risks include bleeding and pain, infection, and damage to local structures. Do not perform the procedure if the patient has had a previous femoral bypass surgery or has an infection at the injection site. Consider the risks if the patient is on anticoagulants, though this is not an absolute contraindication. To position the patient, place them supine and stand on the same side as their fracture. Place the ultrasound across from you and face towards the ultrasound. The fascia iliaca is a layer of fascia on the surface of the iliacus muscle, which is the lateral portion of the iliopsoas. This fascial layer is a potential space and can be zippered open with fluid. First, place the ultrasound just below the inguinal crease and identify the femoral vessels, including the femoral artery and vein. You can utilize Doppler ultrasound to confirm the placement of these vessels. Then identify the femoral nerve lateral to the femoral artery. The fascia iliaca is lateral to these vessels. It can be helpful to identify the sartorius muscle, which ends in a triangular shape, just lateral to the femoral vessels. The fascia iliaca sits between the sartorius and the iliacus muscle. The goal of this block is to deposit anesthetic in the space of the fascia iliaca. It will then spread in this potential space towards the femoral nerve. You can also deposit the anesthetic below the fascia to spread towards the femoral nerve. By depositing the anesthetic in this space, it allows us to safely keep the needle away from the femoral vessels while achieving nerve blockade. Prepare to do the fascia iliaca block. Draw your anesthetic of choice using an 18 gauge needle into your preferred syringe. We generally recommend about 20 cc's of anesthetic, but be sure to calculate the maximum dose for your patient's weight. Prepare the skin over your intended site with chlorhexidine. Cover the ultrasound probe with a sterile probe cover and apply sterile gel. Identify the fascia iliaca as described above. Turn the probe slightly so that the angle of the probe follows that of the inguinal crease. Insert your needle in plane. Initially focus on getting the needle underneath the probe do not look at your ultrasound until you get the needle under the probe. Then identify the needle tip on your ultrasound and advance the needle towards the fascia iliaca. You will often feel two tactile pops, once through the sartorius and second through that fascia iliaca space. You can inject one to two cc's of anesthetic to hydrolocate your needle and to ensure proper location. You can reposition the needle if the anesthetic is above the fascia or in the muscle. Once you're in the appropriate area, proceed to inject the rest of the 20 cc's of local anesthetic. You may also add normal saline to your injectate as a larger volume will help the anesthetic spread in the potential space towards the femoral nerve. Allow time for the nerve block to take effect and monitor for signs of local anesthetic toxicity, including tingling, dizziness, or difficulty breathing.